wrapping up the video with the scar. In my opinion, you can, this say, you can even say that, you know, with what they what the you gotta do, push it forward. What's up, everyone? Connor with Guns and Stuff here. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different in this video, something I've never done. Some of my favorite YouTube channels are TFB TV, and Iraq Veteran 8888, Moss Pawn and Gun, all that good stuff. And what they do is they do like a five guns video. I've never done one of those, so I'm going to do one right now. And pretty much I'm just going to share with you guys five guns that I would really, really like to have one day. Some of them I probably won't have one day, but it's just cool to think about it. Some of them I will have one day. I'll go over those. Uh, pretty much I'm just going to start with number five. And number five, um, I would really like to get a Daniel Defense AR-15. They're... Um, a big name and obviously in the AR-15 world right now they make good 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 quality rifles I've just always liked them I've seen people come into the range and I've shot them before and they're just really nice um, they look cool as weird as that sounds they look cool they feel good to me they're just really good quality rifles you want like a higher quality rifle um, obviously there's more higher quality than Daniel Defense but Daniel Defense is definitely up there and they do things the right way I've never really heard much bad about them I don't really know what model, probably like a DDM-4 or something like that, but one of these days I will get a Daniel Defense rifle. Probably not going to be anytime soon. My Colt is still chugging along. But, um, yeah, Daniel Defense, I'd really, really like to get one of those. Number four is probably one I will never have, and I'll tell you why, is the like Colt XM-177 or like a Commando, uh, something like that. Troy Industries has one out. And I've heard kind of good and bad things about that. I just think it's a sweet looking rifle. Kind of the old school, like Vietnam era, like it's like special forces, stuff like that. It was pretty much an M4 before the M4 was a thing with a 1 in 12 twist barrel. That's pretty old school. I don't know. I just like how they look. I think it'd be sweet to have one. The reason I probably will not get one one day is because I'm a lefty and there's no brass deflector. And I just don't feel like spending a big chunk of change on one. And having all the brass come and eat me, uh, hit me in the face. Just something I'm not looking forward to. I wouldn't spend the money to do that. It's a great rifle. It's awesome. If one day, maybe in the future, I'll get one. I doubt it, though. I heard that Colt's coming out with one in 2016. I would probably have to buy that. Anyways, so that's number four. Like an XM-177 Commando. Um, something like that. Now, number three is something that I will get myself soon because I'm almost 21. And this is a handgun. Um, a CZ SPO-1, preferably a tactical. I've Every CZ that I've shot feels good for me. I shoot it well. Every CZ I've shot, I really like them. They're just good quality guns. They were one of the Wonder 9s, like uh, CZ-75 and the 85 and stuff like that. Really great guns. The SPO-1 would be pretty much like a home defense gun, just a, like a, a duty gun, something like that. Not saying that I would ever use it for like a duty purpose, but um, I just like how they shoot. The SPO-1 has a high capacity. It's got the rail underneath it. And 9mm, I really like. They do have a 40, but I wouldn't get the 40. So the SPO-1, I would really like to get one one day. And that's honestly probably going to be the first handgun that I buy myself when I do turn 21. So it might be on the channel the next few months, maybe. Any CZ, though, like I would love a CZ-85 with the ambidextrous safety, uh, the PO-1, anything like that. I'm not really a fan of CZ's polymer-framed guns. I do like their aluminum and steel-framed guns a lot more than the polymer ones. Probably going to end up getting a couple of those in the future. So that is number three. Now, number two, I would like to get one of these one day. Going to be kind of pricey, especially the way things are going. An all matching M1 Garand and somewhere between 41 and 45 production. So during World War II, um, the M1 Garand, you might not know it from my channel, but the M1 Garand will always, always, always be my favorite firearm of all time. That's the first rifle I bought myself when I was legally allowed to when I was 18. First rifle I bought myself, first rifle I really learned how to shoot. Uh, just something about the history, something about just how it feels, how it looks. It's always been my favorite, always will be. Get one that's all matching. It doesn't really matter what like company, like Winchester, Springfield, anything. I just want one that's all matching. 
I think it'd be awesome with like a laminated stock. I have an M1 and it's it's like a Frankenstein. It's like Springfield op rod, H and R receiver. Um, the wood is not finished. It's I love it. It's the first rifle I ever bought, so I'm never gonna sell it. But I just want all matching M1. M1 Garands will always be my favorite. Number one. This might surprise some of you. I will have this gun one day. Number one, I want a Colt single action army. The gun that won the West. 45 long Colt, 5.5 inch barrel. I've always wanted one of these. They are just so awesome in my eyes. They're so iconic. So much history. So many stories. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I love the... I don't think I've even ever shot a 40... I have shot a 45 long Colt. I've sh I have shot one. But um, just the Colt single action army. Just that single action and big bore revolver. And uh, just it's classic. I will have one of those one day. And um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Share some of your guns that you have always wanted and you have now or you always want. And also share your experiences with any of these guns. And uh, that's pretty much my list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you guys enjoyed the uh, top five list because I might do more stuff like this in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Connor with Guns and Stuff. See you in the next video.